All right, so we're back for the third recording playthrough of Interitus 3, The Ocean Has Her Reasons. Third episode, let's go. Let's go. What file are we again? Three? <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we're about to get some crazy spoilers. <laughs> All right, so we last saw it end of scene one from the ashes. No, it's Anna Lena. That's interesting. I'm not really used to being the last person to wake up in the morning. That makes sense. It isn't late at all, but I see why he gets up so early. Holden spent the last four years of his life fishing. Wait, why did I say four years? Why did I say that? That's not even true. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Holden spent the last year of his life fishing. Fishermen are always in a race to make it out first. I suppose that makes sense. With everything that happened yesterday, I didn't really get a chance to say I recognize him. Sometimes he'd bring leftover fish to our village. Sometimes fruit. Whatever he didn't need. I remember that too. A handsome stranger stopping by to help his neighbors. It was more than just food. A part of me always wanted to know him better, but now that I have, I have to admit that I'm afraid. Is it about his past? I guess I can't blame you. He's forthcoming, but doesn't really give details. It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. He's willing to help me retrieve a piece of what I lost. Why would I worry about his history? I understand that some people fall off the right path in this life. That isn't what scares me. It's his eyes, Norman. It's this look in his eyes when he fights. He'll stop at nothing to take what he wants. I'll admit it's strange that he seems to enjoy a fight. But given that I couldn't do this without him, I'm not exactly complaining. I'm not afraid that he'll go back to his old ways. I just fear for his own sanity. I can't help but worry that he'll void his recovery and do something he regrets. Mm. To tell you the truth, I'm a bit more worried about you and all of this. You're a caring person. That's just in your nature. That's why you wanted to help save Sadie in the first place. But if you and Holden truly do try to unravel their plot, there's no way that this works out nicely. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. There are no happy endings here. Looks like you guys were talking about something heavy. I don't know if this will help calm your nerves at all, but I caught some extra fish for each of you. Already cooked and everything. Oh shit, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did you have time? I know you got up early, but you need more sleep than that. Maybe so, but I haven't slept well in years. Besides, someone had to figure out a way to get us off this island. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. When I went to the market last night, I asked about boats and shippers. Apparently, you're lucky to find a raft anywhere on this island. They're either all in use or burned to ashes. I'm guessing we've got the raiders to thank for that. What's up? Double two. And the uh, burn two. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll fix that uh, soon. Maybe so, but I found a small raft we can use. I feel a bit bad since I don't even know who owns it. It's in the middle of nowhere. We'll have to steal it, but I don't think it matters. When the volcano erupts, it would just get destroyed anyway. That's fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can check it out at the very least. It's not a very large island, so I'm sure it isn't out of the way. Let's give it a try. Mm, the boat's a bit far from shore, but I bet we could drag it into the water pretty quickly. It's nothing fancy, but I think it's good enough for this. I know it's not what we wanted, but Brimstone 3 is in swimming distance. Just a thought. Why would we concern ourselves with swimming? We already have a boat. It doesn't exactly look like the sturdiest ship. Practically any wave will tip the whole thing. That may be, but it already served its purpose. It was enough to lure you here exactly as we wanted. And all it took was an old boat with a rutted out hull. <laughs> I suppose we should be honored. You wouldn't have set this trap if someone didn't consider us a threat of some kind. It's too bad. You won't ever have a chance to tell them that it worked. Oh, here we go. 
You want this one? Yeah. All right. Hey, wait, let's see who we're fighting. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Besides my soldier, Kiro Alter, Kiro Grunt. So at least all of them are someone we fought before. Yeah, but I don't have all my favorite techniques. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Oh, I'm gonna die. All right. And let us go against two thirds of them. True. But if you, if you get the grunt, which is ironic because the grunt's the easiest of the three, but if you get the grunt, she she's pretty much useless. Mm. Let's start with Annalena again. All right, archer, archer fighter. Not that these are interesting at all, archer fights. <laughs> I guess it's true in real life too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ten, seven, seven, seven. I've seen a rubber tipped archer fight before. Like two people in woods basically shooting rubber tipped arrows at each other. Mm -hmm. um, it was crazy because nobody was wearing like eye protection, mm -hmm. which I guess is cool. No one got hit in the eye, so it doesn't matter, but uh, it, it looked pretty painful because the guy who lost was like shouting for almost a minute straight. It's like, oh, it has a rubber tip. Yeah, but it was shot at 50 miles an hour, so. Why would you not use your... Come on. Man. I mean... Actually, no, I get it. I get it. No, I, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I forgot we were fighting an archer. It's like, there's really no point. Wait, did you get shot? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking too much. <laughs> How did you get a shot? You dodged the first one. You ducked the second. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to do something and it didn't work out in my favor <laughs> oh yeah you just jumped back and shoot didn't you yeah yeah that'll do it Done. oh i don't have rush forward yet i keep forgetting that oh right jump lane duck there we go it, it's kind of hard to rush down the uh the archer when you don't have rush forward mm -hmm. do we not unlock it yet no. not yet no dang i kind of want to make him use his dodge quite honestly so i don't have to worry about it later well that makes sense oh it sounds yeah go yeah, for it yeah. protect himself they'll still do damage at least yeah Oh, not a small amount. Okay. Take away. Now I kind of want to do an archer fight. <laughs> not on here, I mean, in, in the woods. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got two bows. No, no. <laughs> I was just saying, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just messing with you. It would be a great idea, but, um. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think his dodge is back. Yeah. That's all right. You, you've almost got him rushed down. Probably by next turn, you'll be able to stab him. It's worth a try. He jolts away. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best programmed thing in the world, but that, that's all right. It's really no big deal, at least. But it missed. Of course it missed. Well, he dodged anyway. So. Dog. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, it's kind of funny because he would be dead by now if, if we did use an Armin's. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he dodged already, right? He, uh, yeah, he dodged. Yep. It's worth a try, I mean. I know, it's just... Because I know there's two others, I'm like... That's true, but with, with five arrows left, she's not gonna... She's not gonna clear any of them anyway. You're right. Selfish shield. Insta the attack. Headshot. I think we forgot to reload her arrows, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll kill. Nice. Sorry, Hatchet. Like, why don't you just do a partial retreat? Oh, wait. We haven't unlocked that yet. <laughs> Hatchet chop. Dodge. Mm. 
lunge forward, jump back and shoot. Okay, nice, nice. Honestly, she's doing better than I expected. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Throw his hatchet. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're about to take damage. <laughs> oh, God. Definitely guard that. Partial block is good, but guard slightly better. I mean, she took damage already. Yeah. Oh, he's jolting forward. Okay, you're dead. Like this. Th this is done. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's brutal. All right. Bye, well, Anna, Anna. She, she she did good though. She did good. She took out like one point three people. About the best you can hope for. True. Sure. And I'd be careful going on the offense. Remember, he, he doesn't have all his counter follows yet. Fuck. Yeah. Pr probably let, let him go first. Because <laughs> I, I know we're so used to... What the hell? Hello? He passed her. Well, that's cool. Does... No, nah, it, it won't happen again. Okay. There's like a 10% chance that they just don't attack. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Um... Oh no, he already used his hatchet. That's why he can't attack. Because he threw it. Oh. Uh, well, what about. Bad for us, he's not going to make the first move. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. Yeah, time to stab him. <laughs> stab. Strike from your sword. Oh, worth a try. Big stab. Nice. Nice. Sif Lash. You remember when I said Norman won't be able to kill him? I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Knife throw. Oh. Wide sword. You gotta dodge that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice still hit, and we're good. There we go. Norman so cool. I love Norman. Warhammer and Chainmail. Oh, okay. Yeah, Norman won't beat him, but he'll, he'll do damage. Warhammer spam, jolt off and throw. Oh. Should I press it for him to swing? That's Dark. crazy. Oh, he still hit. Yeah. Dang. That's a dodge. Oh, man. Why are you getting closer? You have no health. <laughs> oh, man. You're playing with fire today. Um. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> That's crazy that the Warhammer still hit. I'm just like, how? Because <laughs> he, he hadn't done the jolt back yet. He had only done the dodge at that point. Gotcha. And that was still... Yeah. Okay. Forget how big a Warhammer is. At least this Warhammer. I can't remember if, if Holden has a duck for the... Um... He does, but he has to be close because it's a duck and slash. Gotcha. So I, I think you've got to be within five feet. Within five? Okay. Um, uh oh. We're not within five feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Closer. Okay. We're within five feet. There we go. Hmm. Now you, you can use the firebomb from any distance. True. There's no reason you do it when you're stuck close. Second. Ooh. Wide swing. I expected that to do a bit more damage. Same. A rock. Yeah, he's throwing a rock at you. No, do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he got too close for himself to do anything. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Beautiful. Top slash. Just beautiful. Oh, not bad. Yeah. Uh, um, high strike? It's worth a try. Ooh, duck and slash. slash. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting when you get that one to go. Sword lands. I understand. He was faster. Uh, Weapon cross does a little bit of damage. I think that'll end it. I think so too. Yep, yeah, there you go. Nice. Good job, Zach. Hey. Alright. So yeah, immediately. Start menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Okay. Um, 
Wow, that's unfortunate. All right. Um, Norman? Yeah, if you have less than 15 potions, it won't let you just heal everybody. Which makes sense, because, like, you don't have that much health left. Yeah. We need to go to a market. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, hold on. Arrows. We got zero arrows. Oh, now. zero. <laughs> so, she is useless right now. Yeah. All right, well. That's, that's all we can do right now. It's something. Save at tile three. Yeah. Like, please somebody say, hey, we gotta go to the market. <laughs> <laughs> Norman's really good about that. He's, he's got this. We need to find a way to avoid these packs of raiders. I doubt they even know enough to help anyway. We need to work our way up the food chain. No complaints here. How will these guys really put up a fight? Especially the big one. How did they know? <laughs> hey, so remember what Anna Elena said about swimming? Well, that soldier wasn't wrong. This boat might as well be an anchor. I was afraid it might come to this, but I should let you know now. I'm an excellent swimmer, but ocean swimming scares the shit out of me. I always feel like I'll drown, or there's some kind of creature. Uh, I'm not slowing down for either of you. I think we'll manage. I wasn't joking when I suggested it. It's not too late for you. Damn, they didn't go to a market. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it really isn't a terrible swim. How are you guys holding up back there? It's not bad at all, but the rising sun's still right in my eyes. Oh well, this is fine. There's no way I'm doing this again. We're boating to Brimstone 4, not swimming. We don't actually have a choice. The thing is, Brimstone 4 isn't far from the other islands. But if we want to take the fastest path from here to there, we would have to walk across actual lava in both directions. A safe swim would take five hours at best. Oh, hell no. We'd drown for sure. Not to mention, I'd be an easy feast for any creature from the deep. We're taking a boat for sure. Norman and Shark. <laughs> you sure as hell don't have to convince me. I've gone 30 years without ever touching lava, and I've got no plans to break that record. Well, let's turn right, or he might just lose your accomplishment. We're closer than you think. Will do. If I'm being honest, I hate having to do this. I wouldn't swim from, an, from island to island if it weren't for Sadie. I like you guys, but let's not make a habit of this. If you don't mind me asking, why is it that you're so afraid of drowning? I mean, we all are, but you really seem to focus on it. It's not just drowning. It's everything that lurks down there. And besides, I don't know. Not really. It sounds crazy, but about six years ago, I lost my memory altogether. So I don't know why I'm so afraid, but it's very real to me. Really? Like, full amnesia then? I had no idea. You really have nothing of your life from before? <laughs> you could at least try to hide your envy. It isn't as glamorous as it sounds. There are tracks of my life, I believe, only because someone told me. There isn't actual evidence. Wild. Mm -hmm. I suppose it makes sense. You said that your brother is leading a faction that steered this wretched war, but you don't know anything about it. I suppose that you knew more before you lost your memory. Yes, mostly. Of course, the war had already started, but only on some archipelagos. Otherwise, they were simply s sowing the seeds, if I have the right idea. Sometimes I think I remember something, but it's hard to tell the difference between a dream and a fledging memory. Consider my envy dead. Pretty sure that the curiosity alone would drive me crazy. <laughs> it's really not so bad. As far, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter what my life once was, because I have Sadie. Nothing else matters. It's beautiful. I know this, I probably sound so melodramatic, but for a while, I think I forgot that true love still exists in this war-torn world. It's reassuring. Even so, looks like we're closing in on shore. The good news, 
I don't see anyone. There's no way those raiders could track us across the channel. I think we're safe for now. I don't see any people, but I think I see something on the shore. It's small, left behind by the tide. Um, message in a bottle. Mm -hmm. It's a message in a bottle. The final prayer of a man lost in oblivion. I almost don't feel right reading it. It's not like I'm in a position to help. Forget that. I'm reading it. The ocean will take it away again in just hours. If we don't read it, no one else ever will. Let's see. Let's see. It says it's from Stillhead 4. If anyone reads this, please... T oh, why was I reading that it's Holden? <laughs> oh, because Annalyn is not here. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. It says it's from Stillhead 4. If anyone reads this, please take warning. I am one of many prisoners held on this island, all captured by a man named Elias. Anyone who reads this must avoid Elias at all costs. He controls a power that cannot be matched by ordinary men. My name is Fierro Tyexis, and all of, cap all of us captives were once militia leaders in this archipelago. Anyone without tactical value was killed and left to rot beside us. These are men of unmatched cruelty. There is no hope for any of us, so I repeat, do not send help. Please deliver this message to a man named Casper Axinum. Please tell him that I apologize with full sincerity, but it is only a matter of time before we all succumb to their torture. All of our secrets will be lost. The resistance is probably already compromised by the time you hear this. Please give my regards to the family I've been forced to leave behind. I won't be returning. That's all it says. I wish he dated it, but I imagine it wasn't written recently. It's a shame. I've been meaning to ask for a while now, but guess I'm ashamed of my own ignorance. I really don't know much about this war. I know it's a big deal, but I just wanted to keep my head low when I came here. I can explain, but let's get moving. There's somewhere I want to show you. I guess for nothing more than to, to just make a point. I won't pretend like I'm an expert or anything, but I know these islands have a history of contention. Each archipelago is like its own nation in a sense, but some archipelagos have fought others on and off for as long as anyone remembers. There was an all-out war which ended four decades ago. Every archipelago in the area was involved. It wasn't supposed to be the final war. It was. Oh, it was supposed to be the final war. And those who died fighting believed they died for peace. And when the war ended, it was here for a time. An actual period of peace, or at least so I'm told. The Ellswell Islands and Cape Keir Hill were said to be the winners of the war, but from what I was told, the people were discontent with the terms of their victory. Their archipelagos are cold, and food is scarce. There are few natural resources, so in spite of their victory, they still lived and starved in squalor. I heard it said that those archipelagos were the first true victims of this war. The people needed more than their land could give them, so they devised a plan to conquer the other archipelagos. Others refused and said it violated the sacrifice of those who fought for the fragile peace. Civil war raged Cape Kierhill and the Ellswell Islands for four bitter years. But when the conquerors won a crushing victory, they wasted no time. They waged war in all directions, often striking and conquering before some islands even had time to form a defense. I think I took that picture in Key West. I think that's a Key West mm -hmm. cemetery. It's weird to say, but it's a nice looking cemetery. <laughs> it is. It's really cool because you'll, you'll have like gravestones there from like the 1600s, just intermixed with someone who died in like 2002. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So it must be huge then. Oh, it's it's pretty it's big. Yeah. Okay. We walked around for miles. Found someone there who lived to be 104. He was born in the Bahamas and died in Key West. Something like that. Oh. It's like, I didn't know people lived that long back then. Right. <laughs> the people watching this, like, well, they stopped talking. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, uh, the Brimstone Isles were hit less severely than the other archipelagos, but nearly all of the fighting took place on this island. There were so many bodies that the dead were buried here in mass. There's probably a dozen bodies beneath each one of these graves. 
It was such a bloodbath that the dead were never identified. Hell, I don't think they even separated the slain defenders from the slain invaders. They were all just buried in a shallow grave by the sea. When he saw how outmatched these islands were, the chief of the Brimstone Isles stepped down and basically bribed Elswell. He sacrificed his riches and three entire islets of farmland just to keep the war away. I think I remember some of that. This bloody battle was around the same time I arrived, but other fishermen were talking about the decision to surrender. They wished we fought back instead. All of them thought so. A lot of people thought that when the war began, not just here, but in every archipelago they struck. The Stillhead Mountains were attacked so hard that surrender wasn't good enough. Elswell forced them to join their cause. Their weapons and soldiers now fuel the same army that attacked them to begin with. I forgot about that detail. Yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty intricate situation, no, but I guess war always is, you know. What, when you have, like, more than two countries involved? Yeah. Yeah. The other archipelagos have yet to surrender. They claim to still fight on, but their towns have been decimated. Their armies are practically non-existent. Enemies and pirates invade all the time, and with nothing left to stop them, the raiders take whatever they want. They're merciless. They're monsters. They run over everything and don't care about the damage left in their wake. Maybe so, but I think it's a trap to pass judgment in times of war. We could argue about whether or not they have a right to wage war for resources, but what does it matter? Right or wrong, they're still doing it. The, eth the ethics of war have nothing to do with victory or defeat. I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I think that perspective is one you can only learn from actual battle. I'm not in any way proud of my actions, but I learned in Hisoya a thing or two about waging war. Every emotion in the world isn't enough to match the power of a bottle bomb. If thrown correctly, an entire building goes down in flames. I've seen the saddening truth with my own eyes. No matter how hopelessly people may scream, it's never enough to stop the flames. The fire doesn't care about right or wrong. It doesn't care about the reasons or intent of the man who said it in the first place. All it knows is to burn. Mm. This has been a fascinating history lesson, but we have to make a quick decision. Do you guys see that ship near shore? Do we run or do we fight? We never did get to a market, did we? No. All right, I'm gonna save here because this is probably gonna take multiple attempts. I know we're still beat up from earlier, but I say we fight. The others we fought were like guards, but these men are on the move. If they have a mission, that means they have information. Prepare yourselves. Let's hide out for a moment. Take it easy. If we can surround someone, we may not even have to fight. Scare them at best, or negotiate if needed. We can get information without risking our lives. Yeah, I see it too. <laughs> <laughs> for 277, all right, I'm gonna have to come back for this. I think it's worth a try. They look from here like ordinary soldiers, but I know you're right. They're mobile for a reason. Besides, they dock here pretty quickly. They may be on the run. Looks like you're right. They're coming quickly. Get down behind the sand dunes. Do you want to take it? Yeah, sure. Right. Don't even embarrass yourselves by hiding. I know you're here. Two men and a woman. It's not worth the trouble of trying to hide any longer. It won't change anything in the end. How does he know our genders without even looking at us? You're right. There's no reason to hide. We crushed many soldiers just like you already. We are not afraid of you. And if you ever want to leave the shore, then you'll tell me everything about the woman you stole. Her name is Sadie Shawcross, and you cannot have her. On the contrary, you did a huge favor coming to us. After we kill your friends, we'll take you to the volcano. Perhaps it will be your life that gives her the motivation we need. Perhaps it will be your death. Do you really think it was the wise to tell them that much information? There's no reason not to. In mere minutes, the only one left alive will be on his way there anyway. That is, of course, unless they can overcome the power of my channel. I've heard that word before. What the hell is a channel? 
Don't ask what my weapon is. Your only concern is what it will, what it will do to you and your friends. Observe. I have enough power to turn the shallows to ice. Mm. Seismic soldier, channeler of ice. Mind yeah. if I take this one? Sure. All right. I don't remember if this is the one that you're supposed to win, or is this one that you lose? <laughs> I think we can take them, but we're going to have to save Annalena for last and hope her, uh, her assist comes up, because <laughs> this is going to be a mess. Right. Uh... I hate to just run in blind with our strongest fighter, but I feel like we kind of have to. And it starts with the channeler. Jesus. Yep. Okay. I think I'm going to stand here and let him come to me. <laughs> I'm just his left sword. Okay, wide swing. Oh, boy. I'm about to take a ton of damage. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, that didn't go great. Block with his left sword, slash with his right. I need to get this high strike to, to connect, but it's not going to. Dang, it's not going to. There's no way. All right, firebomb. Oh, boy. Sword lunge. Oh, he's plunging both his swords through me. Okay. Not bad. Okay. That worked out. Sword lunge, attack, firebomb, oh boy, I'm dead. Because he, he hasn't done his falling layer of ice yet. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. We lost that one. <laughs> We're going to lose. <laughs> okay. All right. It doesn't help that we are not at all at full health. Yeah. All right. After this, I'm going to try fighting them at full health. <laughs> Because we are definitely losing this one, and I'm, I'm sorry. Shield block. Knife throw. I'm just going to get some distance from this guy. Uh, knife throw. Shield block. Okay. Shoulder back and throw. Okay. I can't do anything about that. But the fair fight. There we go. Thank you, Annalena. All right, Russian for the kill. Block with his left sword and slash with his right. Got him. I hardly have any health left, but but I'm alive. Dang, I only have two knives left. Mm -hmm. too. I think I've got it. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to do some damage. I don't see any way to kill him. Knife throw. He dodges. I forgot he could do that. <laughs> All right, he's going to jolt closer. All right, he's going to throw a rock. Where's my jolt back and throw? <laughs> uh -oh. mm. Uh, dodge. I might as well. Mm -hmm. And that's all the damage we've got. Because he's got chain mail. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this has gone pretty terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Annalena with two arrows. Is that enough? No. No. All right, he's gonna come at me with the Warhammer slam. Jump back and shoot is not gonna end this. Uh, jolt away. Headshot. Oh, the rock. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wasting time. Like, okay, if my next headshot hits, then we're good. Actually, we're, we're still not even good. But arrow shank, I have to, because I got one arrow left. Mm -hmm. Strike first with the Warhammer. Hmm. 
<laughs> I, I think it'll still hit me if I dodge. Because mm -hmm. lower hammer's pretty big. Okay. But I stabbed him. Nice. That's important. If this lands, we win. Ah, oh, crap. Crap. We don't win. Uh. We're out of arrows. Alright, yeah. I'm not even gonna bother. We're dead. Okay, we got three checkpoints remaining. <laughs> now we're at full power, though. You know if Annalena had full ammo, we would have won. Right. So, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad. And now we can start with someone a little more rational. <laughs> Okay, Norman versus the Chandler guy. This can work. This can work. Dang. They're coming out swinging. Right. He jolts toward me. Um, I don't really want to be this close to him. I'm not comfortable here. Player of ice shards. I'm actually going to let that hit at full power. It's only four damage, so it's like not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Shield block. Fair fight. Mm -hmm. That's what I was hoping for. And now I can get him. Crosses his swords. Swift slash. Oh, dang. I just saw uppercut down there. I totally <laughs> forgot about that. Box with his left sword and slashes with his right. Yeah, I can't. I can't take a full slash right now. Uh, shield slam. Ooh. Quick okay. All right. If this hits you, Don. <laughs> no yep. way. You got it. Norman could have killed this guy all along. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> like. So it's not even that I lost last time because we were understocked. I just lost because I'm bad. That's, <laughs> that's what happened. I mean, the, I could have just started with Norman. I mean, there's multiple ways to win. <laughs> that's true. That's true. It's true. I do need to be careful with how much ammo I've got left, though. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not much. He said right before throwing away another ammo. <laughs> Hitting me with the Warhammer shaft. I don't have much health, so I really probably shouldn't tank that. Okay, we used up a... You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Just throwing a rock. That's cool. That's what I was hoping for. Holden's assist coming through. Run up, get the stab. while throwing a kick. That kick's gonna kill me, isn't it? Probably. Uh, might as well go down stab him. Oh, we live. Okay. With point oh four health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for the throw. Oh, you gotta <laughs> be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Annalena, can you take care of this clown? <laughs> She's so good at taking this guy out, too. She's like, unintentionally made for it. Uh, okay, I was worried for a second there. <laughs> He's throwing a rock, like, sure, I'll, I'll dodge it, because he can't do anything to me now. Arrow headshot, yeah, he dodges. Then we'll go in for the killing blow. Got him. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, save game. Three. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, I should heal first. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, Fine. Yeah, there's not a whole lot there. Luckily, Holden's at full health. Mm -hmm. that's, that's nice. And Elena's only down by two. Oh, yeah. I might, I might bring Norman up the rest of the way, because having weak Norman in the last fight did not help. Yeah. Oh, zero extra arrows. That's great. Mm, two knives, at least. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go to a market. Honestly. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll stop there for today. That was uh, 
It was fun. You guys got to see us get our asses kicked. <laughs> well, I don't know why I said us with me. <laughs> <laughs> we will get our asses kicked more as we go down. Oh, yeah. We're <laughs> actually not very good at this game, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching, if anybody is watching. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs>